Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Vintage Story on the Aura Fury server. Hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing excellent. So, we have winter. Uh, you can see in my mini-map, we have a lot of snow in the area. So, yeah, that is kind of a thing. But the other issue that I'm running into is we are really running low on... Uh, how long these vegetables are going to be fresh and there is no way I can use them all. So I'm taking some of the salt that I've gotten from the trader and I am going to uh, make some brine and do some pickling. But before I do that, I really need to get a little bit of food cooked because I don't know if you can see, I am really close to starving. And also my wolf pups finally grew up and let me tell you, that is really annoying, having those guys constantly howling in the background. But I'm sure that we'll end up killing them eventually. But I guess it helps if I click the right button. That tends to be something that is beneficial. But so I actually had to do some checking to see what we need to do to be able to do pickling because it's been quite some time since I've done it. So I know that we need the barrels. So I made up a whole bunch of barrels. And then what we need is water. And so I've already put 10 liters of water in here. We need a full 50 liters of water and every liter of water, and that should be it, every liter of water takes two, or uh, every two liters of water takes one salt. So if we put in 25 salt, that's going to make 50 liters of brine. Now each brine is capable of curing or pickling one unit of food. So if we grab, these guys are the worst of all of them. So if we grab 50 turnips here, we can drop these into the barrel of brine, seal it up, and I believe it's, it's a while. So 14 days, so we'll go ahead and seal this. And now in 14 days, we will actually have some pickled turnips. So I have a lot of salt to grind up. Um, yeah, we actually have uh, another two stacks of salt to grind. So I have quite a bit of salt that needs to be ground up. And I am going to basically just pickle the great majority of everything that we have. Now, I've been talking to some of the guys on the server, and it sounds like some recipes will allow you to use pickled vegetables in them. But I need to figure out which ones allow that. So I have no idea. But uh, I am going to pickle all the turnips because worst case scenario, we just have pickled turnips that we can eat. And the pickled turnips will last for quite some time. So, yeah, at least I'm not starving now. But I need to do a lot of stuff with this, you know, moving water around and grinding salt, all of that good stuff. And, yeah, I say good stuff. I don't know that it's good or not. But I am definitely going to take the stuff that is closest to spoiling. I haven't even looked at the carrots to see how they're doing. So, yeah, we have like a stack of carrots here that is going to be no good in uh, 20 days. So let's go ahead and grab those. I would assume the, the parsnips actually aren't doing terribly bad. Onions are getting low. The soybeans are going to be good for a while. I would imagine we will probably be able to use those before they actually go bad. So I'm not going to worry about pickling them at the moment, but uh, we're definitely going to pickle this other stuff. That will make it last a lot longer. And I don't know, might kill these uh, wolves too and cure the bush meat that we get from them because uh, cured bush meat can last upwards of 10 years. So yeah, I guess lots more salt grinding at the moment and setting up for pickling. So I'll see you guys after a little bit. So all of our vegetables got pickled. I also got the uh, bush meat from the wolves cured 
And here we have it. And these things have a rather long lifespan. So you can see 300 some days on these. Now, unfortunately, they sat in open barrels outside for some time. That is not the best of situations. So they lost a lot of uh, fresh time with that. But all of these are good for over 300 days now. That would give us food for a long time. And the dried meat or the cured bush meat is over four years. So yeah, that is great. Uh, unfortunately, all of our other stuff is spoiling, including our sealed porridge. And this stuff is spoiling very quickly. Our red meat stew with boiled cabbage is still good for 127 days. That's these two here. But yeah, we, we have to use that stuff up quickly. And to do that, I think I'm gonna be cutting down all of the leaves on these trees. Now, one thing that I have not mentioned to you guys there is a new feature in 1.13. We can press C and it will show us now environment data. So we can see it is the 21st of January. Oh, that is great. <laughs> well, that was fun. And okay, good. So I don't know if the server just crashed or what. That happens from time to time. But uh, yeah, we do have environment data now. So if we look here, we have 21st of January. It is negative four degrees. And it also shows the rainfall in the area, which is very common. So that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, I need to get all of those leaves cut down. That is something I need to work on. Of course, that's gonna mean a lot more shears. But also, in between clips, I have been doing a little project with the path. So if we take a look at our map here, of course there's snow down here and there's not snow up here. I have been trailing this path up a long way through the server. We're trying to get up to here, to Emspara's place. That is where the path continues on from other people. So it's kind of an interesting project a whole bunch of us just decided we were gonna start working on paths. No one discussed it or anything like that. And we just started working on them. Every one of us picking our own spot and going. And after a little while, we realized we were all working on it. So we are trying to connect up some various locations, get people all hooked up to the road network. And you know, that, that'll be great once it's all done. But I have been using tons of stone for that every time that i get a little bit of stone it gets used right away and we can see i have a bunch of stone path stuff in my inventory but i am not going to be working on that today because we really need to get that you know the leaves cut off of these trees so that is going to take quite some time the other thing that i think i may take a look at is how our bees are doing because like i say it has been a little while since I've been on. It's actually been two days. So let's take a look at how our bees are doing. And so, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, uh, four on this side that are ready to harvest and one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So I think I may harvest that right away. I love this fact that uh, snow sits on top of the fences and gates. That is pretty cool. But so, oh, really? Oh no, <laughs> I could get stuck in the snow. But one thing that we are going to do in order to be able to uh, harvest our bees and not be attacked by the bees is make a straw dummy. So if we pull some dry grass and make some hay bales, and then we take a look at the uses on these hay bales, we can make, it's not the armor stand, the straw dummy. So the straw dummy takes two hay grass and one stick. And so we'll grab a few sticks. I guess I had some in my inventory. So we will be able to make five of these straw dummies. So yes, once again, these things don't stack. That's fine, I don't mind. So the bees will attack these first instead of us. So we'll be able to break the skips and the bees will attack the straw dummies and yeah, that will be kind of nice. Now, one thing that I think is really cool is the fact that snow builds up in the flowers. That is something that I think is really, really cool. I'm 
kind of curious to see what the snow does on the straw dummies. But we're going to go ahead and place a straw dummy there. Okay, so the snow will stay underneath the straw dummies. That's actually kind of cool. So we'll place one there, one there. And actually these things will take durability damage as the bees attack them. So they will break over time, but I think they're pretty cool. So now we just go ahead and break a skip and grab everything. And you can see the bees are attacking the dummy. That is great. So yeah, we should be able to get quite a bit of honey from all of this. And that is great. There's a twofold thing with the honey. Of course, we can, well, threefold actually. So, of course, we can uh, make the. Oh, we are getting stung. Of course, we can make the uh, candles out of the beeswax, which is something that we will definitely need to be getting to here very soon. We can also eat the honey. Oh, and uh, actually. Uh, more of the hives are getting to the point of where they're okay just by me being here. So I don't know how many more of these I want to break. I kind of feel like we don't want to take too many. Um, let's go ahead and take this one and I think this is probably going to be it for now. I'll make a whole bunch more skeps and bring them in. But we got almost, almost, uh, oh, we have more skeps. But we got almost three stacks of honeycomb and we'll be able to put that into our bucket of honey and then we can use that honey as a sweetener to make berries into jam. Now unfortunately all of our berries withered and are gone now. That's kind of an unfortunate little bit that happens. Oh well, we'll have the honey for later. And then we can use the beeswax to make either candles or seal crocs. And I don't know if there's any other uses that have been added, but uh, yeah, we can definitely get a lot of honeycomb from all of this. So I'm gonna get this all taken care of, start cutting down some leaves, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, I have been cutting leaves off of trees for quite some time, and I have to say there is a massive amount of logs here and yeah, I think we're like not even halfway through what we've got. So if we zoom in on this, yeah, we're not even close. So this is the area that I have cleared out. And this is the area that we have to do. So we're not even a quarter of the way done. But while I was doing all of this leaf cutting, I was talking with NetMC and it got me to thinking, you know, we have something that we could be doing while we are cutting all of these trees. So one of the things that we are definitely going to need, and we're going to need quite a bit of it, is leather. And that is a bit of a time-consuming process. So I figured that might be a good thing to do here. And also, we have a whole bunch of empty barrels here now. So yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense. And also we have a few, a few iron or animal hides. Yeah, just a few. So that'll definitely get us some leather. So yeah, I think that is what we need to do. So first off, we need some lime. We need an empty bucket. And actually I'm going to uh, drop these sticks off over here, which, oh, we have two full crates of sticks now. And look at how many oak saplings I've gotten already. That is more than I planted. So at this point, I could actually uh, just cut the rest of the trees down and call it a wash, but I'm not going to. But so uh, we will go ahead and grab our bucket. I do find it funny that the bucket of water has not frozen, but this spot of water here has. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at our recipes here, and I am going to grab another stack of lime because I don't know how much this is going to take. I know that it only uses as much as it needs when you make the leather, but let's go ahead, open our inventory, and look at the uses on this. So we need to make the lime water. So this is going to be one liter of water and one lime. 
and that is going to make a soap tide from our heights. So after the soap tides then we need 10 liters of lime water. Oh that's just for, uh, let, let's go back. Okay let's go for a small one. Okay, so for a small one, then we need two liters of lime water to turn that into a rawhide. Okay, and then from here, we can make what? How does, how does this work? I know somehow we, oh, ingredient for scrape tide. Okay, so then we need to combine that with a knife. That's going to make the scrape tide. I'd say I, I thought there was a way to do this. So then from the scrape hide, that will make a prepared hide. And then from the prepared hide, we need to take weak tannin and combine that with the scrape hide to make leather. Now, I believe there is also a way to make strong tannin. What is the purpose for ingredient for leather? What? Okay, I'm a little confused. But anyway, you look at it. So we can just fill up a bucket or a barrel with water, and then we will add 60 or 50 lime, and that is going to make 50 liters of lime water. Okay, so next up, we are going to grab some hides, and I believe these have to soak for a while. So let's go ahead and grab our 22 medium hides because we seem to get the most of those. Ooh, it's getting light, finally. So if we put this in here, yeah, that will work. So that is going to give us 22 uh, raw hides, medium raw hides when this comes out. So we'll go ahead and seal that. Maybe, no, maybe, it, oh, nope. We can't put in that many. Okay, so we can put in 12. All right, well, that is good to know. So it will take 20 hours, which is not really all that bad. But so, yeah, I need to do this for the rest of our hides. And uh, then I'll go back to cutting some leaves for a while and I'll see you guys when we're ready to go on to the next step. So the snow is finally starting to disappear. If we take a look here, we're getting towards the end of February. Right now it's negative five, but uh, we've had plenty of times that the temperature has gone above freezing. So that is really nice. Now I did cut pretty much all of the leaves off of all of these trees. And if we look at the map, it's like, oh my God, this is insane. So you can see the grid pattern of the oak trees and then kind of the random pattern of the maples over here. But as I was cutting the leaves back, I got over here to the back corner and I saw a little bit of something. And that is this shape right here. And I was talking in the Discord and I'm like, that looks like a meteor. So I started digging down and there's the impact rock. So that is actually the seventh meteor within 300 blocks of the base. So we have four of them out here, one here, one here, and one here. And then we also had, I think there was one up here somewhere. There was this one, but I think there was one like around here. And maybe I haven't even mined that one yet. I think I did. I should probably go out there and double check. But then also, I'm pretty sure that Chicken Plays and I found a couple down here. So I don't know what the density on these meteors is, but my gosh, there's a lot of them here. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of at a loss for how many I have found here. But I do think, let's go ahead and go back. Uh, let's go back and grab an iron pick and see how big this meteor is because I mean obviously I have a lot of meteoric iron already so 
I'm not going to complain about getting a little more, though. So let's get over here. And also on this one, I do believe I am going to mine every bit of the Suavite impact rock. So we may quarry that as well. So let's see if we can find where the meteor itself is. Okay, well, we're over to the edge there. Wouldn't that be something if there's just impact rock here? <laughs> that would actually make me laugh a little bit. And I'd say it's looking kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, there is not a bit of iron here. Oh, that is hilarious. Well, anyway, you look at it. I will gladly take these rocks because this will work very good for path blocks. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, well. Well, if I do happen to find anything in here, I will definitely let you guys know. But the next thing that we need to do for our leather making is to scrape all of our prepared hides or our soaked hides. And uh, we're going to have to make a lot of knives for that. So I've also got a lot of napping to do. So I'm going to get all that taken care of. And I will see you guys in a little bit. I was just about to do some more work on the leather when I heard a pig out here while I was getting some food. So I want to find this pig. Oh, there it is. So we need, you know what, we could probably just dig a little hole and put it in there so yeah I am definitely looking to be able to get some livestock together because it is definitely going to be something we want to have but also I have gotten I had a shovel what, what is wrong with me I don't know but the pig is trying to pathfind to somewhere. I don't know where. But we have a pig in a hole. That's great. But anyway, we do have a lot of sticks now. I have been chopping leaves, shearing leaves, whatever. We have over 8,000 sticks. Quite a bit over 8,000 sticks. I don't know what on earth we're going to do with all those. It would be really nice if we could turn sticks into firewood. Make it really inefficient. You know, 16 sticks equals one piece of firewood. I don't know. Just sticks. Lots of sticks. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and get the leather taken care of to the next step. And you can see I made a lot of obsidian knives. So we have this massive wall of obsidian knives here. We have a whole bunch of copper picks. And then we have this huge amount of obsidian axes to be able to cut down all of our trees. This is going to be loads of fun when it starts coming down. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab a couple of knives. I'm not sure how many this is going to take. So we take our soaked hides that have been soaked in the lime water and we will combine that with a knife and that's going to give the scraped hides. So of course they hold their size. So, you know, this is, yeah, it, it's kind of annoying the fact that stuff doesn't end up stacking together, but I mean, I kind of understand. I think that it would be nice if it would turn into, you know, something like hide pieces or something like that. Because, I mean, the the hide does, or the leather does still have the same size regardless of the hide that is brought into it. I don't know. But I believe that is all of our hide stuff there. I'm actually going to... Hi, 
way. Where did that other knife go? What? I didn't use a knife, did I? It's not there. Just double checking that my inventory didn't screw up. Eh. That is weird. I didn't think that I used that knife up. Okay. Well, I guess sometimes stranger things happen. Ooh, piece of flax. So, next up, with the scrape, hide, scrape tides, we need to turn these into prepared hides. Now, this is going to need some weak tannin. So, weak tannin, we actually need to put water in a barrel and put in some uh, oak logs, I believe. But, in the meantime, I believe there was a way to combine all of these together. Maybe I could just pick it up with... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're going to combine all of this remaining lime water together. Because that is definitely something that we want to do. So, we actually have 50 liters in there now. So... How did we end up with an even 50 liters? I don't know. Now we have 30 liters here. And then we will need to put some water in here. And I guess my water's frozen. It is March now. So, uh, yeah. So for the tannin, what do we need to make the tannin? So it is one log per 10 liters so we will go ahead and grab that many. Why not? So if we spread this out, we have some five log piles. That will turn an entire barrel of water into tannin. And then we can place our prepared hides in here. And uh, actually, I think I may need to do another one still because we needed uh, four barrels for all of our regular uh, rawhides. So, yeah, we're probably going to need to do a few more. So, I will get this weak tannin made up, and I know we're going to need some strong tannin too, so I will make some of that as well. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So, I've been doing the grind. We actually do not have a forest over here anymore. This has all been cut down. I don't know how well you guys can see that because, yeah, it is kind of dark. But all of the trees are gone. If we take a look at the map, we can see this is all empty now. I have also uh, started kind of pushing out further. And I've also pushed over to the coastline over here. And we're going to end up having to cut all of these trees up in this area down as well. But in doing so, we got tons, and I mean literally tons of logs. We also got a lot of sticks. So we've got well, around 9,000 sticks. And then we have four full storage crates of oak logs, as well as another half a crate. And a crate and a half of maple logs and close to 300 each of the oak and the maple saplings so lots and lots of stuff came out of those trees now we will be doing some stuff to try to get this wood turned into charcoal later but that's not what i'm working on right now so what i am working on right now is the leather and we have the next step completed so I made up a bunch of weak tannin and put all of my hides in here, the soaked hides or scraped hides, whichever one it was, and we now have our prepared hides. Now these prepared hides, we need to put those in a barrel of strong tannin. Now the strong tannin is made by taking a barrel of weak tannin and adding five more logs. Now another 24 hours and this will turn into strong tannin. Now I'm making a bunch of the strong tannin because we actually need a lot of it to be able to turn all of these prepared hides into leather. 
So we have the 11 medium prepared hides. If we look at the use on this, it takes four liters per hide. So that means that we can put up to 12 per barrel. The same as the other, but because it is such a time consuming process to make the strong tannin, I figured I'd make a lot of it. But we can go ahead and throw 12 of our prepared hides in here and four and a half days from now, we will have our first bits of leather. So in the meantime, I am going to continue to do the expansion of the area here. I will also be collecting tons of stone because we need to be doing some work on our pyramid. And the only way that we are going to be able to do that is to get a lot of stone. And as we can see right now, I have 54 stones. That's not going to go very far. So. Yeah, I have a lot more grinding to do. We have a lot of time in waiting for this stuff. So four and a half days in game will turn into about four hours from now. So I can't guarantee that this, you know, the finished leather will be in this episode. I don't know. We'll have to see. So I am going to go and get some of the grind taken care of and I'll see you guys after a little while. So I can actually say with certainty that we will not get to the leather in this episode because we're actually over time already. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on, anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments. I do have a mod list for the server down in the comments or in the video description. So if you want to know what mods I'm running, uh, that is listed down below. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.